Hello and welcome to a uh, little special little episode, a little peek at what I've been doing recently. Um, this is, you're looking at it. This is Dwarf Fortress. Um, Dwarf Fortress is a, as you can see, it's a text-based um, micromanaging simulator kind of thing. You, uh, you have a civilization of dwarves that you have to, um, you have to keep running. You build a fortress, you build farms, you build workshops for them to build stuff in. You have, um, oh jeez, didn't want to do that. You have, um, citizens that have different professions, um, such as, you got carpenters, you, you could give traders to them, there's metal workers, brewers, all kinds of awesome things. And, uh, and this is, um, this is a fortress that I've been working on. Um, recently this, uh, this updated to, um, get the new up, a new update since a long time. So I've been playing around with that, getting this working. Um, this is, uh, open source, I don't know if it's open source, but I know a fact it's free. And it's indie, it's being made by, like, one guy. Um, it's... It's incredibly complex when you first start playing it, and even after you've played it for a while, it's still ridiculously complex, but don't let that deter you. You'll lose quite a few fortresses before you start understanding what you're doing, um, if you do decide. Um, I guess we'll start with giving you the grand tour. Um, up here is my primary level. I have um, my carpenter shop there. Um, crossbow maker there, leather works, butcher shop, uh, wood stockpile, two um, gates, some fortifications, uh, fishery, training booth. Uh, this is all military stuff, archering range and training range. Um, this is for the captain of the guard, and as you can see, he's currently sleeping right now, uh, right next to his bed. Um, I have no idea why he's doing that, but I wish I did. So it would make it a lot easier. Um, mares up here, farms over here, farm shop, brewing thing. Um, up here is my burial. I already have a few in. And then uh, downstairs, oh, refuse pile. Mainly it's full of uh, um, pond turtle shells. Um, downstairs is, um, we got dining room, kitchen. Food stockpiles, rock, finished goods, finished goods, finished goods, furniture, finished goods, gems, lots and lots and lots of gems, uh, metal working, metal industry, metal stockpile, uh, gem, gem, gems, I have a lot of gems, um, gem uh, shop, um, profession, uh, uh, mason, and then here's how you get into the, that's how you get into the, um, the refuse pile where all the shells are. And then I have a guy down here making. I have a guy in here making shell crafts out of that so I can sell them when the caravans come around. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, where were we? We were. Um, oh, yeah, down here. Um, that guy does shell, is making shell craft. And then currently I have a whole bunch of my uh, dwarves picking up stone from down in my mine. Um, down here is um, where all my dwarves, well most of all my dwarves sleep. This is where they all sleep except for my broker, my mayor, and my captain of the guard. They get their own room up here, which I'm going to have to move these two because they're incredibly unhappy about that. Oh yeah, there's also happiness in this, and if your dwarves are unhappy, they... Um, throw fits and it's just ugly. You don't want to have that. You don't want them to stay really, really unhappy for long. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, yeah, living quarters. Um, down here is my first tier mine. This is where I just dug around to see the area. Um, kept going down and down and down some. I found some really interesting stone, so down and down. This is my second tier mine. This is the second one. 
I got a little bit of extra stuff. That stuff I can smelt into tin. No, not tin. That's uh, that's made to zinc. That's what it was. Continuing down, new stone. This is one, this is the new part. Um, this is my third tier mine. This is the um, this is the this is my new one. And I found a cave here. So later on, I'll have to go and explore this. Um, these are. These are gems that you can find. That's spider webs. That's all rock. That's ore of some sort. Or a different kind of stone of some type. Um, this up here is marble. Marble you use to make steel. This yellow, this white stuff. Um, because you need steel to be able to do anything. Um, armor, tools, weapons. You know, basic stuff. So... Once I get, once I figure out how the military works, I will uh, explore this because there are there are some really bad baddies that can show up in this, um, mainly cave spiders and such. Um, and then I started mining out more stuff. So, so yeah, this is what I've been uh, this has been what I've been doing for a while. Uh, this is Dwarf Fortress. Oh yeah, I also got some animals in a pen there. So I've been... It's free. It's great. And, uh... Oh! This is, uh... This is Dwarf Therapist. This is a add-on that you can get. It's a separate application, but it runs when you have Dwarf Fortress up. It allows you to do all kinds of things. It allows you to find out your happiness of your dwarves, who they are, what they do, what they're wearing. Because this is an actually pretty complex game for being text-based like it, everybody has their own personality and they have um, they have their own descriptions of themselves and they have different likes dislikes dreams what they love what they don't um, let's see let's see if I can remember how to get to this V uh, let's just pick this random dwarf here uh, we want to go to um, Okay, what do we need to do? We need to go Z. There we go. Uh, lots of preferences. Yeah. And every dwarf has this. It's... It is remarkable, the amount of detail that is in this game. For, for the fact that its graphics are basically compared to um, XL, but you can have this. And this is why we play this, because we have all of them. They, you have this world that is created that you, that has all of these different kinds of. It, you've got goblins, elves, humans. You have, you have wars between them. You have trading. You have stories of things happening. You have claiming new fortresses or building them. It is. It is impressive, and I love it. It is amazing. It can be incredibly daunting when you look at it, and frustrating at the same time, but when you really get into it, you will be sucked into it like nobody's business. It is nuts. But it, it is amazing, and I think I can't say that enough. It is just an incredible game. Um, here's... Um, this is what it looks like when you're um, actually playing it. You get your dwarves move, they do all kinds of things. Stockpiles, that guy's making that, that guy's making that, that guy's storing stuff. Um... Q, go to this, add new task, I want to make some more, uh, no I don't, no I don't, never mind, um, so, yeah, this is, uh, this has been what I have been doing for a while, I, I thought I'd show you guys for, uh, for today, it's, I'll probably, as stuff starts happening, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make more of these to show you what's going on because this I'm having some really interesting things going on. Um, 
I won't have all the boring stuff like, you know, mining out the stuff, telling the dwarves to do that. No, I'll just record, like, when something really interesting happens. Um, when some fun happens. Uh, in the community here, we, uh, the, the official motto of the game is, let's see, where is it? Um, here we go. The official motto is, losing is fun. So, what we've ended up, what the community has ended up doing is when stuff, like, goes horribly wrong, we refer to that as having fun. So, I'll show you guys when I have some serious fun going on. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this has been Dwarf Fortress, just showing you guys around my fortress. Um, I still got a lot of stuff to do before I can even think of doing other stuff. Um, I think I'm pretty much set on... Yeah, I'm pretty much set on drinks. That's one of your main things. You want to keep your drawers happy. You want to keep them full of ales and such. Um, also got plenty of plants, too. Because you gotta, you gotta have a garden so then you can sustain yourself. You can't rely on caravans forever. Um, fortunately, I got, um, I got these guys down here. I got fisher dwarfs. Uh, that's glazer. Never mind. Um, I got... Fortunately, you get, like, fishing dwarves, which will go out into, like, water and fish for fish or turtles or things, so you'll, so you can get, you can get food that way, which is nice. And, yeah, this is just, it's fun. It's amazing. So, this is, uh, this has been just a little look into Dwarf Fortress. Um, this is, um, this is just, I can't say it enough, this is just a fun game. It is, it is great. So, I'll, uh, oh, jeez, what do I, what do I want to say? I want to say, uh, so, see you guys all later then. See you around.